Hello and welcome to Kismet Rising. This week we're using the Goddess Guidance deck by Doreen Virtue and we have three options. Option one, two and three. So go ahead, make your selection and you can go down to the timestamp below where you'll find your reading. So we have Hatha, and the caption reads, Allow yourself to receive. This will increase your intuition, energy, and ability to give to others. The card is the card of receptivity. So this is a card which says that if you are in a challenging situation, you're being offered help, receive that help. And go out of the mindset of being open to receiving help, because when you are open to receiving help, then you will attract more help. If you are in a space where you're feeling quite independent and you feel like you don't need the help of anyone, perhaps you don't need the help of anyone because you really don't need the help of anyone, or perhaps you don't need the help of anyone because you're feeling like you have a point to prove or you're feeling like you need to show yourself that you need to be independent, then this is not necessarily an energy of receptivity. It's simply being receptive to your own powers but this card is talking about opening your energy, opening your field to receive from others, to be able to accept what is given to you with gratitude and to be able to assume that we are one with one another and therefore when we receive, we are also giving and giving and receiving balances the cycle for us. So the other meaning of this card is to accept what is coming your way. If you're experiencing challenges or any obstacles that are on your path at this moment, simply to accept that and to approach it in a Zen-like fashion. Because what's going to happen thereafter is that you're going to be able to find that solutions present themselves with ease. So this card also talks about reducing your stress levels and not doing too many things at once. Uh, slowing down in order to receive and when you do that then you are looking after yourself and if you're looking after yourself then you're able to receive better and when you're able to receive better you're able to give more and once you're able to give more then your cycle is complete and you feel well within yourself if you're only giving or you're only receiving you're not in balance and therefore you're not able to really appreciate the the magic of the universe the gifts of life and so this card is also asking you to bring yourself back into the balance of receiving as well as giving. The sense I'm getting from this card is that one needs to surrender to, to, to what one is undergoing at this moment. So if that entails difficulties or stress or any kind of problems, any obstacles at all, one needs to surrender to that. In the same vein, one needs to surrender to the joy that one feels or the wellness that one feels, the calm that one experiences. One needs to simply to surrender to that moment. And the act of receiving actually entails a surrendering of being, simply being in a state in order to receive, not fighting, not giving, not engaging, but simply being. This card is also promising that your energy will increase and your intuition will increase as you receive. So the idea of this boils down to the fact that when you're receiving, you're in a state of observance. You're not busy acting. You are simply surrendering and observing. And as you observe, you learn a lot more and you understand a lot more. And this is actually what's going to give you the knowledge that you need at this moment. So go with that and remember that as you go along in this time. So that feels like a really short message, but it feels like exactly what you need to hear right now. And I wish you a very good week ahead and um, many blessings to all of you as you go along in this week and in the following. So for those of you who've chosen the second deck of cards, which is this one here, we're asking, what is it that we need to know as we go along in this week? 
What is it that we need to know? And there's a card that's flown out right now. And it is Mary Magdalena. And the caption is unconditional love. Love yourself, others, in every situation, no matter what the outward appearances may be. Now, this is a card which I feel has basically a, a, a feeling or a message that we should apply in our daily lives forever, all the time. We should always be applying unconditional love for people. And I feel like what the basis is in this card is the, is the message of respect. And the way in which to give people your unconditional love is to respect them. You respect people unconditionally because no matter what it is, whether it's an animal or a plant or a piece of furniture, if you can respect that, then you have given them an unconditional love because you give them the space, you give them compassion, and as, as well as respect. So unconditional, I'm not saying that unconditional love is only respect, but it brings about the feeling of of there are more feelings it brings about the feeling of the other person is what I'm trying to say so when you have respect for the other person then you will give space for compassion and empathy to creep in as well and this gives you a chance to be able to give something to that person uh, which is more than just respect it is something that is an acknowledgement of the other so it's almost like the the, the word namaste it's basically saying the divine in me honors the divine in you. And it's this feeling of unconditional love that you have for another and recognition that you have for another. And I really apologize for the neighbor's dog that's barking away in the background. And um, I hope you we can give some unconditional love to this dog as well. So the caption reads here, Love yourself, others, in every situation, no matter what the outward appearances may be. And I think in this situation here, it's kind of telling us, you know, there may be things going on in the lives of other people which you don't really know. They may be going through difficulties or they may be going through some stress or some anxiety. and You don't really know what's going on with them. And if you're expecting a certain reaction or a certain outcome from a particular person and you're disappointed or annoyed or frustrated by the outcome that they are giving you, then forgive them and just give them the space to come over it because you don't really know what's going on in their lives and you don't really understand what they may be experiencing or how they may be responding to a situation that they are faced with. And so this card's asking at this moment to take extra care when dealing with people, to employ extra compassion and empathy when approaching people, when listening to others and responding and reacting to situations that you may be faced with. So that's basically the message of this card. Employ unconditional love and be the best that you can be in this week as you go ahead. Have an extra bit of tolerance for those around you and an extra bit of compassion for those around you. And with that, I'd like to leave you and wish you a fabulous week ahead. Blessings to all of you. And so for those of you who have chosen the option number three, we are asking, what is it that we need to know this week? What is it that we actually need to know and to have at our veil this week? And we have Kuan Yin. The card reads compassion, and it says, release judgments about yourself and others and focus on love and light that is within everyone. So this card is basically talking about recognizing where you've been overly critical or overly judgmental either of yourself or of others and choosing to employ compassion choosing to employ an understanding of the other so ask yourself where is it that you've been overly judgmental or where is it that you've been overly critical where is it that you've been forming resentments as a result of things not actually going your way or of things being upside down in your life or awry in your life Things not really working out the way you've wanted them to. Because this card is saying that you need to employ extra compassion in this regard. So Kanyin comes in to tell us where have we been pushing ourselves too hard? Where is it that we need to be kinder to ourselves? What is it that we've been doing to ourselves that brings this card about? This card is telling you to very basically 
assume a position of compassion towards oneself. With that will follow a demeanor of compassion towards others. This card would come about only if you're experiencing tension, if you're experiencing bitterness, resentment as a result of things not actually going your way. As it comes as a warning of how to be with others and how to be with oneself, how to continue at this moment and what is the essential message for this week for you or for this time for you. If you consult this oracle just occasionally, this is a message for you for a longer period of time and this is the core of what you need to build upon. So compassion is where you need to begin. Compassion is how you need to begin your day and how you need to end your day and the thread that connects you from the beginning to the end of your day. It's something that needs to accompany you and something that you need to be more conscious of as you proceed with things in your day and as you relate to others as you go ahead. So with that message, I'd like to thank you all for coming by and I wish you all the very best. Blessings abound from Kismet Rising.